Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Congratulations to every Bitcoin hodler. We have another new all-time high. Bitcoin reached here $28,600 overnight. So again, congratulations to every hodler. And also if you traded this breakout here to the upside, then congratulations if you longed here over on Bybit and Femex. Right now you should be sitting in some nice profits so let's analyze what could be happening next my friends because currently bitcoin is confirming this new support here at twenty seven thousand one hundred seventy dollars so it is very likely that we're gonna now confirm this new support and head towards our bullish target of thirty thousand dollar potentially today or latest tomorrow so i think we're gonna reach here this bullish target of thirty thousand dollar pretty soon and here is where we're gonna see if afterwards we're gonna start a massive correction towards our bearish targets if we're gonna see a correction or if we just continue to go higher and higher potentially towards forty thousand dollars so let's wait and see what will happen in the next couple of hours especially if we're gonna test here and reach here this thirty thousand dollar target currently it looks like that we could head towards this target because the four hour is still looking very bullish we are currently also confirming here this new support we also have a lot of room left to the upside to reach 30k it's not anymore far away we just need one or two thousand dollars before reaching these targets so for bitcoin this is absolutely nothing and that's why we maybe could see 30k before the end of this year so we have less than two days of time and now if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that currently we are right at the top and we came down here to test the middle line and in my opinion we could see here a big bounce to the upside of course there are also some warning signs here in the four hour we have the stochastic which is looking a bit toppy we could have a bearish cross here but as long as we're closing four hour candles above twenty seven thousand two hundred dollar we should be good to go to the upside we have also KST and MACD which are trading sideways KST even had a bearish cross here now shift to the downside but as long as we're closing these four hour candles here in the upper area we we should be good to go towards 30k and there is where we're gonna see what will happen my friends i think there the biggest move will happen so if you are in a long position make always sure to have a stop loss in case that we're gonna see maybe a nasty week to the downside because if you see here the daily time frame you can see that the nine day and 20 daily moving average so very important moving averages during a bull trend are still far away from us so here the nine daily is right at 25,600, and here the 20 daily is right at 23,000 dollar and also considering that we still have some CME gaps below of us especially the big one over here at $24,000 I think it is very likely that sooner or later probably in Q1 of 2021 we will see a correction down to these important support levels and then gear up for another big parabolic move to the upside but as long as we are closing daily candles above the 9 and 20 daily moving average we should be heading towards to the upside and of course for Bitcoin the limit is nowhere so we could easily go 30k 40k and way higher before seeing a correction but since we are right now very overbought and overextended in the bigger time frames i think it is overdue for a correction the question is only when it will happen and remember it's never too bad to take out a little bit of profits also to be able to buy in if we see a massive correction so i don't say that you have to sell everything but it is okay once we're reaching these important levels of like 30k or 40k to take a little bit of profits out because sooner or later we will see a correction and then you will be able to take that opportunity to buy cheaper bitcoin because right now bitcoin is still cheap in comparison to what will happen most likely in the next year but if you have also some cash on the sideline you're also able to buy even cheaper bitcoin if we're seeing a correction because a correction will come sooner or later for sure and as long as we're keeping an eye here in the daily and weekly time frame where the moving averages are we know where to buy the best if a correction will happen soon or later and if we switch over into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that currently we are also trading here right at the top currently we're not even overshooting it to the upside so we could easily reach right now 30k in my opinion it's just a matter of hours and days and I think it is very likely that before 2021 we will at least test this price level and this is also where we're gonna see 
if Bitcoin gonna create a support above 30k of, or maybe there we're gonna start to correct a little bit because keep in mind that most of the people gonna need to pay a lot of taxes especially now that Bitcoin raised up so much in value and that's why I think there will be a lot of people taking out a little bit of profits to pay also those taxes especially also the miners and that's why it is very likely that maybe in the beginning of 2021 we will see a little correction potentially to test 20k or go even a little bit lower then create a new bottom and then gear up here for the big parabolic move which will in my opinion take us at least towards 100k potentially even way way higher and also here you can see that we have all indicators shifted to the upside they are looking all a bit toppy but Bitcoin can stay in this area here for a very long time so the daily time frame is still looking very bullish even though we could still see a correction down to the middle line here of $23,000 to close also the new big CME gap that we have and then continue to to go higher but since we are now approaching this 30k area i think the next target is definitely to reach 30k so if you're still in a long position and you didn't get stopped out then make sure to rise up your stop loss if we're going to test 30k and there we're gonna see if we're gonna just blast through or there maybe we're gonna start a potential correction at least a short-lived one and if we go over into the weekly here again you can see all the moving averages like the nine weekly here a very important one right at 20k and of course the 20 weekly moving average at fifteen thousand six hundred dollars so these are my final targets if we're gonna see a massive correction maybe in q1 2021 but of course the more time we're trading above these moving averages the higher they come and of course that means also that in case of a drop we're gonna potentially bottom out higher so at the moment the moving averages are here at those levels and the more weeks we're gonna stay above these moving averages the closer they will come and also less likelier a potential big sell-off could happen so as long as Bitcoin is trading above these moving averages we should be very very bullish and even though we could see such a sell-off Bitcoin will remain bullish here for the next couple of months and years most likely because this is just the beginning of a major bull run my friends and if we are lucky to maybe buy a little bit more below 20k take that opportunity scale in some nice long positions and try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and now we can also have a small look into the Bollinger Bands here in the weekly because here you can see that we are still closing weekly candles above the Bollinger Bands and as long as we are closing these candles above we should be heading towards way higher prices but as soon as we are starting to close these weekly candles again inside the Bollinger Bands then I think a correction down to these two moving averages so between 20 to 15 thousand dollar could happen I don't think we will go lower than that but at least to test these two important moving averages in my opinion is still very likely and this is also where I think we could be going if at 30k we are seeing a little sell-off otherwise the weekly time Time frame is still looking very bullish we have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside only stochastic here is still in very very overbought condition now since many weeks so also here a little cool off at least towards the middle line of the 50 level or maybe even down towards oversold condition would be very healthy and therefore of course then also we have to see where the price will be I don't think we will go lower than $15,000 but based here in the Bollinger Bands the bottom currently is right here at $5,000 I don't think that scenario will Will ever happen again that we will see prices below 10k but based here in the Bollinger Bands even $5,000 would be even possible so all time frames are pointing out that we will see way higher prices and we most likely never will see Bitcoin again below $15,500 maybe a little week down towards 10k is still in the cards who knows but if we would really dip below here the midline of the Bollinger Bands I think this will be very very short-lived and a very quick move so make sure that you have already some buy orders in this area here because I think if we seeing this kind of a bigger correction this will be bought up very very quickly because we have a lot of FOMO going on right now especially by institutions and now let's have a look also into the Bitcoin dominance because right now you can see that we are still in the 70% area and I think also here we still have some room left to the upside to reach our target of around 75 to 80% so I think the Bitcoin dominance will continue to rise here and that of course 
means that altcoins will bleed a lot and as you can see also today we have a lot of altcoins that are dumping of course they had also very nice performance in the last couple of days but bitcoin currently is outperforming everything so that's why it is very good to stay and stick into bitcoin here at least as long as the bitcoin dominance is rising and once we are topping out somewhere maybe you can do some nice swing trades to buy some altcoins and then as soon as they have a big pump you can convert it back into bitcoin so you make even more gains in bitcoin this is what you can easily do for example over on binance because there you can buy all kind of altcoins and just a little side note on xrp because xrp is completely dumping and also coinbase most likely is gonna suspend trading on xrp who knows what will happen there in the future so currently i'm not holding any kind of xrp and i think the more this dump continues the more likely it is also that litecoin will rise up here in coin market cap so i think that xrp most likely is going to continue to drop way below 20 cents so i definitely wouldn't recommend you to hold xrp anymore at least for now it is possible that in the future especially if they maybe win the lawsuit that they have now with the sec that there we're gonna see a big bounce in xrp but in my opinion xrp is a very big crap coin and it's not worth to take the risk in investing in xrp because you have so much better choices like litecoin for example polkadot chainlink and so on so if you really want to buy some altcoins then maybe watch out for other projects because this one over here i really wouldn't recommend to anyone and with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now make sure to be ready to trade these breakouts when we go up and when we go down on bitcoin you can do this over on bybit and femex if you still need an account then make sure to use my referral links because with my links you can do a free account without kyc nothing you will get also some extra money so you can do some free trades as well and if you don't want to trade at your own then try out prime xpt because here we have a co-vesting feature where you can copy Copy trade easily other traders you can open up an account also with my referral link down below here top up a little bit of Bitcoin and then you can easily just click here and follow and you will be part of these huge gains that some of them are doing right now so try it out and let me know in the comment section if it's working out for you or not and a big reminder to everyone, make always sure to store your cryptos in hardware wallets. So if you are keeping cryptos for the long term, make sure that you store it on a nano ledger S or X. That is very, very important because not your keys, not your coins. So whatever happens in the exchanges, you will be staying safe with your cryptos if you store them on hardware wallets. So that's why it is very important that you always have a hardware wallet next to your exchanges because exchanges are only good if you have to buy or sell cryptos but if you have to store it the best and safest way is always to keep them in those hardware wallets and if you need one then make sure to use my link down below here to the official ledger website and this is also very important to know if you're new in the crypto space because if you need to open up an account on binance coinbase or swissborg this is good just to buy or sell cryptos but to store it it is very important that you use always hardware wallets so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel you can also follow me over on twitch and discord on discord we have a great trading chat it is completely for free and everyone is welcome so make sure to join it and this is also where you can get access to my indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin in different time frames so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye